All right, good morning, everyone. Happy May 1st. Uh, I'm gonna do some 24-hour observations on my Emersons I unboxed yesterday. I did uh, the Sheepdogs. Here's a Spear Point, Clip Point, and the Range Master Bowie. I also did a mini CQC 15 review. Like I had mentioned yesterday, I have never previously owned an Emerson. All the knives I have, I just have never owned one. Um, the things I've heard of the Emersons are the same. Okay, horrible fit and finish. Uh, very, very, very aggressive G10. Lots of lock stick. And for the materials being used, they are overpriced. Okay, now these are all the things I've heard. I needed to pick up a few for myself and make those judgments on my own. Okay, which I which I try to do as much as I can just because, you know, there's so many opinions and everybody each, <laughs> everybody has their own. Okay, so uh, I wanted to make mine. All right, so real quick, here is the Mini CQC 15. All right, that was my first one I unboxed. Okay, right here. Now, I've been playing with this knife nonstop and it's just now becoming, you can hear it still, um, the lock stick is just now breaking in, okay? I have my trusty screwdriver. <laughs> yes, it does need it, okay? I have ripped up my thumbs as you can... Oh my lord, sorry. I've ripped up my thumbs. Um, so yeah, this is the CQC Mini 15. I've heard great things about that knife. Um, if you own an Emerson, you should own one of those. Blah, blah, blah. So I did. 3.5 inch blade. It's a... Uh, uh, 3.25 inch cutting edge on that, about 8 inches um, from tip to tail, and it's going to be weighing about 5 ounces, 4.96 ounces on this, okay? You got the titanium liner lock and the stainless steel on the other side. Something else I didn't realize about Emerson is that they have a slit, like a cutout in the opposite side of the liner, which I had never known, if you can see that. So I called Emerson. If ever I have a question, I always call the uh, the company just to get it firsthand. And he said it's supposed to be there. It's a second detent ball. All right, now I see where Emerson's coming from with his whole um, workhorse philosophy. He didn't make them to be pretty, and I can I can appreciate that. I can respect that. Um, the blades and the grinds on these Emersons are gorgeous. Also, I didn't realize that they all come with the chisel grind. So I asked him about that and asked him why there was only one bevel on one side and not on the other. Okay, education, guys. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, so I would carry this knife. I would use this knife. I wouldn't care if it dropped or got scratched because it's already pretty ugly, um, fit and finish wise. But I would not pay another $180 for that or $240 from Emerson because I needed to grab them from Emerson to get them first here okay 3.5 inch blade cut an edge there all right 8.375 inches from tip to tail over a half inch 0.54 I believe on the handle thickness okay titanium this one is actually breaking in pretty nice all right the D10 is a little weak and the lock stick is there definitely Okay, but it is breaking in. I got number 0021. I'm excited about that. All right, and then, of course, you got your wave opener, thumb disc opener, flipper opener. <laughs> I think it's a little overkill for the opening uh, ways on this. It's the Range Master buoy. So you can see all of my skin in there. Jeez, this G10. Fit in hand is great. It really does feel nice um, because of the thickness in the handle. All right, we've got the Bowie, Bowie style blade, 3.5 inch on both of these, uh, same stats. I think these are gonna be weighing about, I wanna say 5.5, 5.55 ounces, okay, on these, and just under five ounces on the Mini CQC. All right, now, if you can see the layout here, ZT, so yes, I would buy a ZT over an Emerson any day. All right, the quality of the materials and the fit and finish is um, in another world. Okay, LMAX, full titanium, stainless steel lock bar insert. Okay, perfect G10, 
perfect out of the box, no break-in. Although I do enjoy a certain amount of breaking in, you kind of, you know, do feel like the knife is yours after you've broken it in and you've worked on it and there's a sense of accomplishment there. Um, this and the Mini CQC I've worked on and I'm, I'm feeling good about them. This one is just ridiculous. I need to... Okay. On that, $230, $215, no way. All right, these are both $200, 190 all right, you're getting the LMAX steel, which I love. I've had great experience with it. All right, better materials, I think. Blade steel, all right, not even in the same category. All right, well, these are the LMAX, so yes, maybe in the same category. Um, these, carbon fiber, 204P, super steel. Same price as these, really? ZT, Spyderco guys, they're really making a jump forward, especially ZT. Um, Emerson and Benchmade, I think, are getting left behind. All right, fit and finish. I mean, these knives, stonewashed and satin, just like these, okay? But just all of the uh, scales are lining up. Anyway, all right, I would prefer any of these ZTs, okay? You can get these for 200 bucks, 0560s. All right, better quality materials, I believe. These are all my own personal views, guys, okay? But did it meet my expectations, the Emersons? Yes, they did, all right? Did they exceed them? No, they did not. And this is a little sneak peek, guys, of my next video. All right, got the 052 CF Sinkovich. And I also got, like I told you, was coming in the mail, another 0630 uh, Emerson ZT. Now, all of these collaborations, ZT's coming out looking like they are all-stars, and Emerson's looking like they are junior varsity. All right. Again, my thoughts. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I just wanted you to see the new Sheepdogs. Um, I do think they are a good knife. Okay? I think they're sturdy. I think they're going to last you a while. Um, I would not pay $215. I would, I would wait, guys, until people start getting rid of them. All right? Awesome. For some reason, I don't have any number on this. Maybe it was the first one? No. I don't know. All right? Breaking them in slowly. All right? So here you go. Your Emerson's. Alright, God bless everyone. Thanks for tuning in.